Okay, so now I did have a recording for the next Adventures of Little Mermaid. And for some reason, there was like a disconnect. It wasn't in sync. So um, I'm not sure what happened, but I'm sure it's my fault. <laughs> Um, I've been doing this for so long, you know, getting everything, and I'm sure that somehow with this reaction, it just didn't connect somehow. I wasn't paying attention, and so so we're going to do it again. <laughs> and, um, yeah, because I was actually looking at it again just about an hour ago, and I was like, what happened? And I, I don't know, sad face, but we'll look at it again. We, I will look at it again, <laughs> which it works because I need a break from my writing. I am in such a good place with my writing right now. It's like, I've got, I don't want my groove thrown off on this, <laughs> but I do need a break. Um, so now The last episode, I believe, was the one where we met uh, one of Marina's sisters, uh, Coral. The one that, at times, she looked a lot like Ariel. And then they changed the hair at the end. <laughs> and, and, um, and I also said that in the Little Mermaid TV series, there was an episode like that one. And um, I, I swear that there's an episode like that, but it could be I'm way off. And um, it's, again, I'm old, and a lot of times they blend. I mean, I was watching this one the same time I was watching that one. So I will admit that, too. Now, in this one, we do meet new characters. And I believe they pop up a couple of times throughout the series. Because we're this is episode 11 and 26 episodes altogether, I believe. And um, so anyway, let's just get into it. All right, Marina, are you ready? <laughs> Anytime you are. Cast. <laughs> Good throw. Here. <laughs> huh? Whoa. Huh. <laughs> Oh wow. All right, you win, Marina. <laughs> of course, in the water, I always win. <laughs> Celia and Daria. Who are they? Friends of mine. They're little dolphins. Check this. This is my good friend Leah the dolphin and her daughter Daria. Say hello. Hello there. Nice to meet you two. <laughs> they said that they're about to go for a swim and they want to know if we'd like to join them. But even if I drink my potion, I can't keep up with a dolphin. You won't have to. You can ride on Leah's back. All right. You know, that never stopped him before. <laughs> All right, friends. Let's go for that swim now. Get him. Ah, hey, Marina, what'd you do that for? <laughs> she seems angry, but why? She apologizes. She's never seen her mother ridden before. She thought that you were going to hurt her. Well, so that's it. No wonder. Now, let's have fun. Oh, I do have to say that because I I was in middle school when the Lisa Frank craze was going on and I had plenty of Lisa Frank. And I know that there's like this whole thing about Lisa Frank and all of that. Now, we didn't know that back then. At least middle school kids didn't. And I did. I had a ton of Lisa Frank. <laughs> Every once in a while we find it. <laughs> it's like, oh, look at this little notebook. Look at this little thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and something about these these two 
remind me of the dolphins in Lisa Frank. And so, and I think it's the eyes more than anything. I, I think it's just the eyes. <laughs> and so I don't know if with Lisa Frank, those eyes were like anime inspired with a lot of those characters that she had. Cause I mean, sh shoot the, the, the cats and the zebras and the, again, I had a whole bunch of it <laughs> in middle school. What girl in middle school in the nineties didn't have it or grade school kid for that matter in the early nineties had Lisa Frank <laughs> when it exploded. Oh my gosh. And then I also had an obsession with dolphins. So I had the, the dolphin stuff more than anything. So I think it's the eyes more than anything else. Now, another thing is that, <laughs> He's talking about Justin is talking about how he can't keep up with the uh with the dolphin. I can't keep up. And it's like you've been uh swimming around with all these sea creatures and everything, and now all of a sudden this is a problem. <laughs> Maybe Because I, I do have to say this, too, about Justin. We have seen at least two episodes where he's wearing a swimsuit, you know, like the old stripey swimsuit. If he's going to hang out with Marina, why doesn't he just wear that? You know, stylish and all that. <laughs> yeah, if he's going to hang out at the beach, just wear that. Why does he always have to wear his regalia and everything? I don't <laughs> Come on, Justin. Or is is it because of the whole thing with the uh, um with his family? I wouldn't think that'd be a because of Chauncey. I would think that that I don't know. They live near the beach. I mean, him hanging out on the beach and his. <laughs> Oh, there goes Justin again. <laughs> Does he always have to wear the official outfit or whatever? I went because again, we've seen two episodes where he's wearing that the the old. When does this take place? <laughs> Is this Victorian era? It probably, uh, what they were going for, I should probably look it up. Um, they were probably going for the, the same time period as Hans Christian Andersen. I would guess because the swimsuit that he wore during that, you know, the, the stripey swimsuit is along the same time period around, so, you know, and, uh, But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> let's swim to my father's palace. It's so lovely, and it's not far from here. You're going to take him to your dad's palace? What about... Oh, there's trouble. Of course she would. The mother Leah is one of Marina's closest friends, which means that if I can force Leah to obey me, I can use her to set a trap for the mermaid. Ooh. And if I capture her daughter, she'll do anything I want. Uh, oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> oh, Dudley has a soft side. That's adorable. Yeah, it's definitely the eyes. They have a dog face. I'm afraid the potion will wear off soon, so I'll have to go. Leah, thanks a lot for the ride. It was great fun. 
She says you're welcome, and it was fun for her too. <laughs> Goodbye. That was the that was a swim. I'll swim along with you to the seashore. I'd like that. <laughs> Their swim consisted of just arriving at Okay. I guess. I mean, I do like the dogfish. <laughs> I remember in, um, oh, what one was it? Um, uh, Five Old Goes West or whatever it's called. Yeah, an American tale, Five Goes anyway, it's the the one where Fievel's out west. And uh there is a point where all those uh <laughs> where his his friend Tiger is being chased after all those dogs and everything, and then he ends up in the water and there's that that dogfish. Yeah, it's like that final it landed flat. I remember even as a kid, it wasn't that funny. And because uh, you have this dogfish yapping at him and he just sits there and he's like, dogfish. And it's like, yeah, we got the joke. <laughs> you didn't have to explain it. And this one was more funny. I I liked this one. <laughs> And let's see, the, the name of the, I, I meant to say this before, but the names of the uh, dolphins are uh, Leah and Daria. Now, a lot of times in anime, they they are very careful with choosing the names. I mean, they are actually centered around. So I'm wondering if uh, uh, Leah and Daria are like uh, nautical. And I'll have to check that out. And uh, Daria, anymore, people think of the MTV. <laughs> I remember when everybody was thinking. And I love that people are looking. It's still popular, actually. I don't think it ever, like, uh, disappeared and then came back. Kind of like uh, the thing about Beavis and Butthead is, like, people kind of forgot about it. And then all of a sudden, people... Are interested in it again. No, Daria was one that everybody loved because of her attitude. Her and her friend's attitude. It was just <laughs> everything about it was just oh golly. But um, yeah, I'll check the names and uh, see if they're like nautical because that's one thing about anime when they they choose names they are. centered around like especially with like fantasy and and that kind of thing they are very um geared towards whatever it is and uh so all right let's see what hedwig is up to Once I've captured them, I'll lock them inside this cage, but I'll have to arrange for an air supply. They need it to breathe the same way humans do. Uh, how's she gonna do that? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> this will do quite nicely. It'll be easy with this umbrella and my two little friends here. Where'd she get the umbrella? Now, time to go to uh, probably a shipwreck. What is your will, O oh diabolical dwyan of the deep? These names, man. Okie dokie, where should I put it? On Manta's back. <laughs> Perfect! A portable prison. We're ready. Forward! 
Good heavens. I would think that'd be heavy on the the ray's back. Those are iron bars. Huh. <laughs> uh oh. How? Uh, how exactly did she trap? <laughs> so Stingray just what's the the Stingray's name? Is he Montar? I don't remember, but yeah, because she named a couple names, and I'm guessing that Stingray is Montar. I don't. Or maybe it's the octopus. Uh, he, that would seem more... Anyway. But... Did they just decide not to animate? <laughs> They're like... I mean, again, this is for kids. Everything. But... The adult in me is like, so you just decided not to animate exactly how this was going to trap. <laughs> I mean, you got to have bait. That's the thing about those old lobster traps. Is that you have to put bait in them. You know, th those old box type, you know, with the... Uh, you, you see them in Assassin's Creed a, a lot of times. Where And they did work. I mean, they still work today. I mean, all you have to do is open up the top, you put the bait in it, and they'll go in, and then it'll, the mechanism will go, and <laughs> those lobster and crab traps, yeah, they, from, from forever, they still work. So is that what they did? I mean, <laughs> they, they. I guess. Sure, we'll go with that. Okay, that that's what they did. My hair's doing a thing. It's being all fluffy. And <laughs> I guess we could say that that's what happened. Instead of accusing the animators of not animating anything. Yeah, we'll go. We'll do that. We will do that. Yeah, that's one thing about Assassin's Creed. It's like every time you go to an island or somewhere, and it's like you get to the shoreline, and it's like all over are those. I love it, but you can't interact. My mom got so mad. I got my mom interested in Assassin's Creed. A little off topic here, but I was playing Black Flag, and um, because I moved it out there when I didn't have my computer, they were. Uh, being nice about it and everything and they said well you could use the big screen TV and because their TV is like twice the size of what mine is and so I'm playing it and everything and <laughs> there was one point Edward stepped out and like there were crabs that just went <laughs> it's like I just uh, interrupted a committee of a committee meeting. She's like, she goes, well, can you do anything with the, the crabs? And I said, no, it's like Indiana Jones and the fate of Atlantis. When you go into Atlantis and there's little crabbies everywhere, you can't do anything. And she, she says, well, that's a bummer. I was like, yeah, now you know how we feel with the legend of Zelda. When you can't interact with the dog, you can't pet the dogs or anything past games. You could pet the dog. You carry the dog everywhere. <laughs> Play fetch with it. Can't do that now. What were they thinking? You even delayed the game 
You should put that in. No, you just look at it. <laughs> At least in Assassin's Creed, you could feed the animals, you could pet the animals, and all this stuff. Uh, what? It's just nonsense. <laughs> That's the one thing, though. You can't do anything with the sea turtles. I was a little sad. I was like, at least he could. You would think that you could at least stand up on the sea turtle. I, I shot one. I felt so bad. I was like, so you can't do anything with it? Why did I shoot it? I shot it in the face. <laughs> I felt so awful. I also shot a goat. I think I talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> Ed Edward's just a menace. He's... <laughs> At least when I'm behind the wheel. It's... All right, let's keep going. What are we going to do now? Jasper, take them back to the cave. Oh. Marina, I got here as quickly as I could. I couldn't wait to see you. No. Oh. To be together again. I'll carry you to shore. I wouldn't want you to get those. Is this the same day? Or is this a new day? Here we are. Thank you. Now, think you can beat me in a race to the castle? A race? I don't know. I always beat you in the water, but on land, you've had more experience. I'll race you on one condition. Uh oh. Whatever you'd like. What is it? This time I'm going to be the starter. All right. On your mark, get set. Go! Huh? Oh, she cheated! <laughs> Little cheat. I'm still going to beat you, Marina. <laughs> You'll never catch me. Oh, is that so? Just watch. <laughs> you don't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's picked up on some human trait that something that she shouldn't. <laughs> Where did she learn to cheat? Oh, those are very hungry. In fact, they're each other. Those are scary. Even a little dolphin. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't listen. As long as you do exactly as I say. So get to work. What's her reason for this? She never has said why she needs Marina in this episode. She's just causing problems. <laughs> These titles are giving her. And don't let anyone near that baby dolphin understand. Uh -huh. Don't you worry, little dolphin. Uncle Dudley will take care of you for your mama get back. Okay, it is really adorable that he's he's trying to be a good babysitter for this little dolphin. Hey, I got it. I know what the trouble is. Boom! You're hungry. I can fix that problem in no time. So, the question is, what do baby dolphins eat? Baby bottles. That's what I need. That's a human thing. <laughs> Ready. 
they're bowling. Six pins down. Now it's your turn, my lady. The best of luck. Watch closely, Justin, and I'll show you how it's done. Like this. Hey. Oh, oh no, he cheated. So did you. Why you? You'll pay for that. Is that so? You'll have to catch me first. You <laughs> coward. <laughs> you better run as fast as you well, can. Well, here I am. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> They shouldn't be running like that. When it's this hot, exercise isn't healthy. <laughs> indeed, Chauncey. Indeed. Oh, good heavens. So it looks like at this point in the series, they're showing uh, more affection. I mean, there was that one episode where we almost saw them kiss. And uh, and there had been, there was like another episode where we saw heavy emotion, and uh, with the two and um, or not emotion like affection, and uh, and then here again, we're seeing this, and so almost like the writers realized that they weren't really showing the relation, you know, like a, a, a love relationship between these two. It was like, it was more, they were just kind of dating. <laughs> and again, they're teenagers. It, it's been established there. Uh, Ansem and uh, I believe even... Uh, in in one of the episodes, um, Justin even mentioned how old they were, or um, I, I seems like they themselves mentioned how old they were. So again, this is theory, but I'm guessing that the writers realized, well, we need to establish their relation. You know. Where is this? Otherwise, it's just going to be like, oh, they're dating. It's cute. It's whatever. The actual story, we need to level it up. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, <laughs> and we haven't seen, oh, gosh, I keep forgetting her name. It's the the one that the mom likes so much and uh but and at some point her story changes i do remember that and and we'll get to that when i don't remember when her when she shows up next but but we haven't seen her in quite some time. Gosh, when was the last time we saw her? Uh, it was that one where she talked to the father of Justin and she got mad because she was supposed to go on a a, a ride through the countryside with yeah, and uh anyway. But um so yeah, uh, it, we were slowly seeing where their affections were getting stronger, and because it started off that way, you know, like the usual Little Mermaid story where the two meet and all that, and then it just kind of dwindled into they're hanging out with each other, and now we're seeing more. So um. Anyway, let's keep going. Huh? Oh no, look at the time. Justin, Marina's about to turn into a mermaid. Get, don't say it. It's time for Marina to go. Oh, my time's up, Justin. I have to return to the sea. Well, then I'll take the potion of change and that way we can still be together. Wonderful. I'll race you to the beach. The first one there's the winner. It <laughs> sounds like fun. Only this time <laughs> I'm going to be the starter, all right? Fine. Go right ahead. On your mark, get set. See you at the base. Huh? 
Why, you little... <laughs> I'm gonna catch you! Oh, you are in what's commonly referred to as love. Yeah, but you know this! <laughs> oh... I love Chauncey. I, I I I adore him. Again, why is he not wearing the swim outfit? Goofball. Where do you want to go? Well, let's see. How about the honeycomb cavern? First, I'll have to drink some of the potion. All right, I'm ready now. To this, Leah and Darian know that we like contests, so they've come up with a new kind of race for us. She wants us to go to the Valley of the Volcano. Great, another race. Of course, we both know that I'm going to be the winner, hmm? right? What? Gosh, I must have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you did, Marina. <laughs> We'd love to go, Leah. By the way, where's Daria? It was fun meeting her. I hope she isn't still angry at me for riding on your back. Is Daria all right? Leah says she's waiting for us at the Valley of the Volcanoes. Like they say, mustn't keep a lady waiting. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Leah. <laughs> Onward, my brave steed, to the Valley of the Volcanoes and another race I'm going to win. Aren't they at this place before? Yeah, they were at this place before. Is this a dead volcano? Leah, I'd like you to be the starter. That way, a certain little mermaid I know won't be able to cheat me again. Mermaids don't ever cheat, Justin. At least... <laughs> really? Because she has been cheating... Uh, I, I've counted at least twice. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, if you remember, we... Her cousin, the inventor, uh, Barnabas... You know, he was the one that had the, the measles or whatever and then ended up giving them to <laughs> to the sea witch. And he was so intent on making that invention. And then at the end of that episode, they were here. I, I swear this is where they were at. But those volcanoes were active. How come they're not active now? That's... Or maybe they weren't. No, they had to be, because of the way that that invention works. He needed the the air, the, or the, um, the airflow or whatever. To help him move up. Yeah. This must be a, a dead volcano. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was messing with me. I was like, is this a place that they've been before? It is. I'm I'm like 90% sure. <laughs> yeah, cuz that uh Barnabas episode when he made that invention he needed the uh airflow from one of the um one of the volcanoes. So they've been here before, but those volcanoes were active. You know, the uh, Anyway, all right, let's see what happens. Hi, Leah. <laughs> oh, sure they don't, Marina. <laughs> the 
Just give us the signal whenever you're ready, Leah. Is she going to tell him? There she goes. Yeah, she's already there. Again, what is why does she need Marina? Don't you worry, little Dolphin. Uncle Dudley's come back and he's got just what you need. A bottle filled with delicious milk. You don't have to be frightened of your Uncle Dudley. I got this especially for you. Uh it's for me. Go! <laughs> Yeah, I would say so. Considering that the bottle could have just fit through the bars. <laughs> Poor Dudley, he was trying. We haven't seen her in a while. They've been calling her stuff all this episode. But Leah has courage. She resisted you because of her friendship with me, because of the closeness we feel for one another. But of course you don't know anything about friendship since you don't have any friends, you evil witch. Friendship? What an interesting concept. Hey. Just leave one wrong word out of you and you'll be sorry. Enough of this nonsense. Uh. Give them away and you'll be here forever. Is that what you want? No, sorry, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why nothing, not a thing. You lie. I know. You were talking about this obnoxious little seahawk. Nice of you to join us. Let her go. <laughs> Get him. She won't be unconscious for long. We've got to hurry. But how do we open this cave without a key? You know, I keep wondering, as this series has been going up to this point, you know, because Dudley just said friendship, what an interesting concept. Marina and Justin and and even Bobo and, and Winnie have defended uh, Dudley through a lot of these uh, little adventures that they've had. And, I mean, you think about the Masquerade episode when she, he was turned into a human and there was that moment where um, he almost didn't make it to the sea. 
Marina and Justin helped him. And there have been other moments as well. I think even there was a, a time where Ansem helped Dudley. And um, so this entire time, Hedwig has just insulted him and been just terrible to him. And this group have defended him. So at what point is he going to realize that You know, <laughs> you know their their kindness. I mean, even with Marina saying, you know, if you be quiet, you don't have to be. You know, you won't be here. You know, don't don't tell her. Otherwise, she will keep you trapped in here. You know. So, yeah, it's. It's interesting to me the 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 as we see uh Dudley evolve it's like it's <laughs> even the 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 voice that they give him is supposed to make him seem dim-witted but as the uh series continues not so much so <laughs> I like Dudley. Dudley is one of my favorite characters. And um and it's not out of sympathy, I just like him. Because when you learn more about him, you realize that he's one of the better characters. <laughs> Cuz again, just like when he was just trying to help Daria. You know, he's not a Though he's like the right hand man of the uh of the bad guy, he's very sympathetic. There are even times where he's he's like, Well, why are we going after Marina? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? Is there a reason to do that? <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so she wants that amulet. I just don't remember the amulet being talked about, except for in that last episode. There you go. I'm sure you and Dudley have a lot to talk about, Hedwig. No, you can't leave me here. You don't understand. I'd give you anything you want. And that you were demanding that amulet. Get away from me, you big punk poop! Oh, I'd like to, but I don't have anywhere to go. And we sorted oh. that. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be locked up in here. I'm sorry, your malevolent majesty, but you told me to guard the little dolphin, so I thought. I never gave you permission to. Oh, for heavens. We're ready to start the race whenever you give us the signal. All right, then. When I lower my. Oh, you little hey, that's no fair. <laughs> oh well. Huh? Daria, thanks for the lift. <laughs> See you later, Slowpoke. Huh? <laughs> I never knew the dolphins swim so much faster than mermaids. I finally beat Marina in a water race, thanks. Yes, but you had some help. Well, since I don't have a tail, I had to use someone else's. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, a tail can come in handy for all sorts of things. Oh! Oh, you! Race you to the beach! Billy, I'm not nearly as fast as Daria. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> come on, Winnie! Go, Leah! <laughs> Daria has a favorite now. <laughs> Uh, 
and that's the end. So uh, yeah, this amulet of power, I don't remember it being talked about at the beginning or, you know, in there was that one episode that they talked about it before it, it was just all of a sudden dropped out of the blue. I, it was the slab, the gold slab that they always talked about, which was almost melted down by, uh, what's his name? Gunter or whatever. And, uh, so I'm going to have to, uh, watch these episodes again and re refresh myself because I really don't remember the amulet. I think it was two episodes back where she mentioned the amulet and, uh, it, yeah, wouldn't hurt to refresh my memory on these. And, um, but anyway, that is episode 11.